I'm Dr. Leslie Bauman. Today we're going to be talking about how to heal acne scabs. Acne scabs are the result of picking or popping pimples, which creates a wound on the skin. They can be ugly, hard to cover with makeup, and slow to heal. But don't worry, I have some tips for you to speed up the healing process and prevent scarring. First, you need to protect the scab and keep it moist. This will create a better environment for new cell growth and collagen formation. You can use a band-aid, an acne patch, or a healing ointment to cover the scab. Here are some of the ointments that I'd recommend. Number one, SkinCeuticals Hydra Balm. This is a rich, occlusive balm that helps seal in moisture and protect the scab from external factors. It also contains soothing ingredients like chamomile and aloe vera that help calm inflammation and irritation. Number two, Jan Marini BioShield Post Procedure Complex. This is a silicone-based gel that forms a flexible, breathable barrier over the scab. It also contains growth factors and peptides that help stimulate tissue repair and regeneration. Number three, Elastin Regenerating Skin Nectar. This is a lightweight serum that helps hydrate and nourish the scab. It also contains Trihex technology, which helps clear out damaged collagen and elastin and support new collagen and elastin production. These products contain ingredients that help soothe, hydrate, and repair the skin. You can apply them twice a day, morning and night, until the scab falls off naturally. Second, you need to avoid anything that can irritate or disrupt the scab. This includes friction, exfoliation, and certain ingredients. Here are some of the things that you should avoid doing. One, kissing someone with a rough beard. This can cause micro tears and abrasions on the scab, which can delay healing and increase the risk of infection. If you kiss someone, make sure they have a smooth, clean shaven face or use a gentle lip balm to reduce friction. Two, using scrubs, brushes, or loofahs on the scab. These can physically remove or damage the scab, which can expose the underlying tissue and cause bleeding. If you need to cleanse the scab, use a gentle antibacterial cleanser and pat it dry with a soft towel. Three, rubbing or scratching the scab. This can also cause scab loss, bleeding, and infection. If the scab feels itchy, apply a cold compress or a soothing ointment to relieve the sensation. Do not pick at the scab as this can cause scarring and hyperpigmentation. Four, applying witch hazel, retinol, salicylic acid, or vitamin C to the scab. These are ingredients that can chemically exfoliate or irritate the scab, which can slow down healing and cause inflammation. Witch hazel can also reduce blood flow to the area, which can impair wound repair. Retinol, salicylic acid, and vitamin C can also interfere with collagen synthesis and cell growth, which can weaken the wound matrix. These ingredients are great for preventing new acne, but not for healing existing acne scabs. These things can cause inflammation, peeling, and scab loss, which can delay healing and increase the risk of scarring. You should avoid them until the scab has fully healed and the skin has returned to normal. Third, you need to use gentle and antibacterial cleansers to clean the skin around the scab. This will help prevent infection and inflammation. Here are some of the cleansers that I recommend. Number one, Revision Skin Care Gentle Cleansing Lotion. This is a creamy, non-foaming cleanser that gently removes dirt, oil, and makeup without stripping the skin. It also contains Bisablo and Elantoin, which helps soothe and condition the skin. Number two, Sente Daily Soothing Cleanser. This is a pH balanced, sulfate free cleanser that gently cleanses the skin without disrupting the skin barrier. It also contains glycerin and hyaluronic acid, which help hydrate and plump the skin. Number three, CLN Facial Cleanser. This is a hypoallergenic, fragrance free cleanser that effectively removes bacteria and impurities from the skin. It also contains sodium hypochlorite, which helps kill acne causing bacteria and reduce inflammation. These products are mild, hydrating, and effective at removing dirt, oil, and bacteria. You can use them once or twice a day, depending on your skin type and needs. By following these steps, you can help your acne scabs heal faster and better. 
Remember, the best way to prevent acne scabs is to avoid picking or popping your pimples in the first place. If you need help with acne prevention or treatment, you can visit my website SkinTypeSolutions.com and take the quiz to find out your skin type and the best products for you. And also, I have put all the links to the mentioned products in the description box below. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe so that you won't miss any of the upcoming videos and also visit SkinTypeSolutions.com forward slash library where I keep a collection of all of my blogs so that you can go and search any of your skincare questions and get the answers right away. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more skincare tips and advice. See you next time.